Hi, hello, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about being an INTP. And why? Because you know what? I mentioned typology here and there within the span of, you know, making the videos that I've already made. You know, if you've been watching them. So yeah, if you have a decent memory, you've caught that on. But <clears throat> I've never actually went out of my way to like, you know, fully make a video about it specifically. So I guess here it is. I'll tell you why specifically I think I'm an INTP. If you think I'm mistyped, go ahead. Feel free to, you know, put your analysis in the comments. It'd be interesting to read, I guess. Yeah, how self-centered of me. Yeah, write something specifically just for me, talking about me so I can, you know, feel, feel like I'm important. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. So looking into that like typology crap, 16 personalities, is it? I've come to the conclusion that INTP most likely makes the most sense for me. And I'll go through each of the cognitive functions that make up that type and tell you how I perceive it or how I think it relates to me in how I navigate this you know, bullshit, meaningless reality. So what would that first cognitive function be? Well, you know, it's obviously introverted thinking, otherwise known as TI. Now, this is a very, you know, subjective, personal form of logic, not like TE, which is more like, you know, results driven and wanting to sort and categorize logical systems here in the real world. It would be something more analytical. Like, I create a logical framework in terms of like how something makes sense for me. Now, if I can't explain it, then I think to myself, I most likely cannot understand it. Like, if I can't put it into the words that I think pieces it together, then I am not confident in, you know, the answer that I have. So, it's as simple as it sounds, I need a lot of contemplation. Now, a lot of people need contemplation, I guess other t-types and like whatnot but like this though this cognitive function right here i think is very unforgivable in bringing me the harshness of this world because you know real life it it just happens it doesn't really give you time to like necessarily sit back and like think about something and i really need that a lot i can drain the entire day just thinking about something and not you know actually get like let's say anything done, call it like procrastination, if you will, because I need to know what makes sense. I need to know that my logic is going from A to B to C to like, you know, whatever before like I proceed. And one of the things I know as to how I'm a TI user is because of this, kind of like what I mentioned, I'm very crisp or at least attempting to be in the sense of like, okay, I need logic to make sense. Step one, step two, step three, you know, logical format of perception, let's say, is that I can be very pedantic. When you say something to me and I notice even a smidge of something that doesn't make sense or it doesn't seem like it's like, you know, making your whole like, like system make sense in terms of your logic, then I will point that out. And yes, it can be very nitpicky to like a lot of people, but like, you know what? I don't want to assume, I have to know. That's why I ask those questions, for example. So like, I don't know, let me just give a simple example. Like, I don't care if it's frustrating. I'm just like, you know, it's like, I need to know that you actually know yourself, that you know what you're saying. So for example, you can say like, oh, so-and-so is like this. And then depending on the, the conversation, I guess I could be like, um, so it's like this, or is it actually this? Now, to a lot of people that might seem obvious, I guess what I mean, like, nope, no, like, like, okay, we're, we're using TI up in this bitch. I need to know why all of this specifically connects together. So if you're going to say that something is like this to actually mean that it is this, then I need to know that you specifically meant that. Because in a way, there is a difference between something being completely identical versus just, you know, being incredibly similar. So, you know... I might be annoying to a lot of people in that regard, but I mean, all I have to say to that is if you just kept in mind the accuracy of your words, then I wouldn't have to do that. So am I annoying? 
maybe, but then also, you know, where's your part? Make your shit make sense as best as you can, because that's ultimately what I'm trying to do. And you notice that when I talk, I often go out of my way to like contradict myself because, oh, I then start thinking of something else, which I think naturally perfectly leads to the other cognitive function that's followed up by TI, and that would be NE, which is extroverted intuition. Now, a whole lot of this has to do with ambiguity. And in my, you know, explanation of TI, I sort of already kind of went in that direction as to how that goes about for me, because oh, kind of like what I mentioned, I might like, let's say, contradict myself or stop myself in the middle of something that I'm saying and then reframe it to make it make sense. Because you know what? There is more than meets the eye. So then we have to categorize and like sort shit out. Because with the TI working in place with the NE, we need to find what is actually clear here. We need to know that we've dismantled all possibilities that don't make sense until we have essentially the TI essence of how something logically makes sense in terms of how we perceive it. You know? So yes, I think extroverted intuition is very handy in this regard. Because, kind of like what I said, if you're not keeping in mind how accurate of like the things that like you're saying, I'm not going to hesitate to throw hypotheticals at you, throw random scenarios at you, and if you're scared to answer those things, I feel like it just tells me you haven't really even taken the time to think about your position properly. So, you know, this is very useful, and, and, and it's why they say that NTPs in general are pretty good at arguing and shit. I know most of that glory typically gets given to like ENTPs because like, oh, they're referred to as like the, the debaters or some shit. But honestly, as an INTP, nah, fuck that. I'll, I'll, I'll debate the fuck out of another ENTP. Like, like, let's go, bitch. Like, you think you're, you think you're more open-minded than me just because you're fucking NE is first? Well, maybe, maybe not. But I mean, I don't know. You don't scare me just because you think you're, what, so much big brain with your possibilities being so fucking dominant or some shit. Which is actually one of the things that I don't like about ENTPs because I've noticed that because they have NE first, they don't necessarily care as much as us INTPs to get to like some sort of like TI conclusion. So they think they're smart just because they think, hmm, let me wonder, let me wonder, let me wonder. And I do that as well as like an INTP, but you know, I'm trying to eradicate things to like, you know, find what makes sense as best as possible. New information might come, and yeah, okay, I, I, I get it. A lot of ENTPs might be like, oh yeah, kind of like what I said about any, there is always more than meets the eye. But here's the thing, I will adjust my TI framework if you bring about new evidence, hypothetically, that I have never considered before. But the thing that I kind of struggle with in terms of like, let's just say like any DOMS in general is when they think that like possibilities itself make for discovering the world. And see, this is how I know I have a, a, like, like a TI like starting point thing, because like possibilities, you know, I see why, but I don't always see why, because okay, if you can't actually substantiate that and you have to move on to something else just to make yourself make more sense, then you're essentially that moving the goalpost fallacy. And I think a lot of ENTPs, or maybe I should specify more like unhealthy ENTPs, don't really keep in mind of that because, okay, you just keep switching your goalpost and you know, you're mentally masturbating, thinking that you're smart, even though you aren't. But yeah, okay, that as much I think covers a little bit about like, you know, how I think about NE, how in comparison to like, let's say somebody that I would think that's more dominant in NE compared to me or it's more so in the second slot. So what's followed up next is introverted sensing. And yes, this is specifically what I'm talking about. And I guess that kind of goes hand in hand with like, hypothetically, you might hear this concept of like a TISI loop. Because the thing about introverted sensing is that it wants to maintain already lived experiences, essentially. It wants to deal with what you can already accept. You can imagine it as something like very statistical. So like, if you think of like a high SI type, like an ISTJ, for example, they're called, uh, I believe, like, logisticision. Yeah, so essentially it's already, you know, trying to master predictability, if you will. 
Now, this is here for me. I think it's like very handy in the sense that like, yes, I have strong extroverted intuition, even though yes, it is in the second slot compared to like an, an NE DOM. I try to spot specific patterns to things. And I think, yes, the TI, even in the SI, like they work in tandem to like log, okay, where is this consistency? Like you can always keep your mind for possibilities. Sure, I got that anything going there. But you know, what can I know simply, like, you know, for the most part, what can I expect even like nine times out of 10? Based on the experiences that I've gone through and based on creating these like logical, you know, introverted thinking formats that lead to, okay, this is crystal clear because there's no other way to look at it other than this specific thought process and pattern. And I guess ultimately that's where a lot of like TI, SI loops come from, which is not always the best because in a way I also see how that can, you know, trap an INTP into holding specific worldviews and confirmation bias to only find things that like support that. But then again, I'm always at a conflict between what I do think I should know more versus what I already know. So, you know, as ultimately a TI dominant person, I have to figure out what makes sense of that, you know, whatsoever. And then we have the last and final function, which would be extroverted feeling. Now, this is the weakest point for an INTP and I don't know, I feel like this could manifest in like a lot of ways, like, cause like, okay, a lot of people might simply think, oh, a lot of INTPs might have like social anxiety or something like that. And like, okay, perhaps maybe that's true. But like, in a way, I don't think it necessarily always has to manifest that way for me because I think, because I don't naturally think about what other people have to say. And yes, it sounds pretty self-absorbed, I get it. But it's like, okay, it's, it's back to that TI thing though where it's like, if I can't explain it in my own words, how do I know I really understand it? Because I know a lot of people have this mindset where, okay, they feel more secure, let's say, or let's say like a higher, like like extroverted feeling type, I don't know, like, like an ENFJ, an ESFJ or something. They get more of their comfort, because like, you know, it's the reverse, they have TI inferior. They get, in a certain instance, you know, like more of a stability when they know that everybody's like sharing the same values and like harmony or something like that. Because the thing about FE is that yes, it is very collective in terms of like people's values, like wanting to assimilate within that group, essentially. And don't get me wrong, I'm not always saying that's a bad thing, but like one thing that I do hate for sure is coming across as if like I'm a sheep or something. So I think this has given me a lot of confidence in a way to actually go at like multiple people at once. Cause like, I know that like, let's say certain people would get nervous or something if they had to like single-handedly defend their position against like so many people. But as a TI dominant person, I think I've always been good at naturally spotting like logical fallacies, at least compared to some people. I would say, even though I didn't necessarily know what a lot of these things were specifically called in terms of like what fallacy it is, I've always been pointing out like logical inconsistencies whenever I debate or even just like talk with like people in general. So the reason why I'm mentioning that is because like, okay, the one thing about being somebody that's such a low extroverted feeler person is that I've been quick to point out people's like appeal to majority because kind of like what I said, a lot of people do feel more confident, secure in what they believe if they have the, let's say confirmation bias from like everyone else because they don't have to think about it like any further, which I don't really stand for as like an introverted thinking like dominant because you know, kind, kind of like what I mentioned, I don't need you to tell me what to think. I need to tell myself that, okay, I figured out the essence of this and now I know. Because, yeah, in a lot of ways, it's not just um, appeal to majority fallacy. Let's say appeal to authority, where people might even say, oh, these are what the experts are saying. These are what the people with the PhDs, the master's degrees, or like whatever, like, you know, have to say about this. And you're going to tell me that you're going to question those people. I mean, I'm not talking about anything specific here. And I'm not even saying I'm going to disagree with somebody just because they have those, you know, like titles and like all that shit. But I mean, like it ultimately, it truly does not matter to me, admittedly. 
if I'm talking to, let's say, like a McDonald's worker about something and they reason something out and it sounds more, you know, like it makes more sense than somebody with like a PhD, I don't even care, bro. I don't even care if you've spent like years studying like a specific subject. If this McDonald's worker who has never gone to college like in their life presents some sort of like argument that I can hypothetically reason better than like your own, then I expect you to be able to like, you know, actually like, like reason your position outside of your title, outside of your quote unquote years of experience studying this or like studying that. Which also brings me, I guess, to another point. I don't actually care if a lot of people want to say that like the whole like MBTI typology shit is like pseudoscience. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me because Obviously, we've noticed like over the years, like throughout mankind, society has like shifted in terms of like their beliefs or whatever the fuck made up values people want to say about stuff. Like, I don't know, take for example, like cigarette smoking. That wasn't always frowned upon. If anything, I think that, yeah, at one point they even thought it was like good for you or something, but like, oh, turns out we have all this fucking evidence that, oh my gosh, it's not good for you because it'll give you cancer or some shit. You know, so what I take from that is that like, okay, there's always been people claiming to be experts, professionals, this and this and that, but like, I don't know, it's just elitist bullshit or it's just fucking like, I don't know, like dumb uh, crowd mentality shit. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go with that. So like, you know, like, like, like people think that's ultimately like, like, you know, like what I'm trying to say. Like, like paint the image in terms of why you believe whatever it is you believe, because like, that's what I try to do. And admittedly, okay, I might conversation hostage people at times, which I don't, I don't necessarily think is my fault. Cause like, if you don't want to be in the conversation, like, you know, fucking tell me, I can't read your mind, you know? But like, if I'm going to lay out a point, I don't necessarily care to be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? concise. I mean, I guess at times, like, I wish I would, but it's like, I don't know, I, I just wish a lot of times a lot of people had, like, the patience to, like, you know, process everything that, like, they're, they're thinking in the way that, like, I do. And I understand that time always ticks, so, you know, we have, like, other shit to do and, like, whatnot, but it's, like, what I don't like about having most conversations with, like, a lot of people, and I think, like, yes, this is where the inferior extroverted feeling, like, really shows is like, you know, a lot of times people expect you to just know what they're saying in like a few exact words, like you should just infer, which is kind of like super confusing to me. And oh, actually, I really wanted to get into like a part of this video where like a lot of INTPs actually come across as autistic to a lot of people. And I think a lot of this, you know, essentially contributes to being like a higher introverted thinking dominant and I'm aware that like autism is like a spectrum and all that shit but I guess like even from a more stereotypical like point of view it's like okay if you think inferior FE oh wow somebody with like social problems somebody that's like socially awkward whatever things like you know things like that because I know one thing they tend to say about autistic people is that they take things very you know literally and I think as a TI person I can see where that comes from, but because I also have like extroverted intuition like high up there, I don't know when I'm supposed to take you seriously versus like, you know, not like not literally versus, um, oh, you're saying this metaphorically or you're actually, you know, like, like saying something else, even though that's not specifically what you're saying, like at that point, you know, in time. So I think what a lot of TI dominant people naturally do is that essentially we just say what we mean like you know all the time essentially like you know like to the best of our like ability and I guess in a way this creates some sort of like uncanny valley effect to a lot of people because maybe in the sense we talk like a textbook or something we talk very like technical almost like robotic or something and a lot of people can't handle that because they want some like I don't know like, like a bit of like, 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 I don't know, for like a lack of a better way of saying it, like social grace, essentially. And I think, okay, this essentially contributes a lot to, I guess, our quote unquote 
FE inferior problems, even though I don't necessarily always think it's a problem because actually I do have pride, admittedly, in my ability to think about things without having to like consult other people. Can that look arrogant? Admittedly, yeah. But honestly, if I am the only person that knows the truth compared to a whole bunch of dumbasses, even though I'll never know it, at least what I do know is like I have a strong mind. And yes, I have learned things, I guess, in like the best way possible developing FE or trying to be more comfortable with FE is that like, I get it, you know, there is strength in numbers. So I'm not like entirely trying to say that like, oh, I don't know, screw, screw FE, I don't care about like my feeling function, quote unquote, or like whatever. I mean, it makes me uncomfortable hypothetically, but I'm just like, you know, I acknowledge it's there. It's part of me. It's part of my function stack. So in a way, I use it whether I want to acknowledge it or not. And I think I actually am capable of like assimilating with a lot of people if I care. Well, I shouldn't even say a lot of people because I think like, okay, the people that I hypothetically do care about, they see, you know, a certain part that maybe that's just beyond somebody, you know, being TI nitpicky or being like, like NE conspiracy theorist or something. So I don't know, the way I see it, I think it's actually pretty good having like FE like all the way at the bottom because it really helps people that, you know, would have the patience for me, let's say. And our relationship can hypothetically like blossom really well because I don't have to like, you know, play this like fake sort of like character. I, I don't know, like, like no offense to like the high FE users, quote unquote, but it's like, you know, you can always improve in your life, I guess. That's always what they say. That's always what the fucking self-help gurus want to tell you and all that shit. Make changes, advance, and better your life or something. But, like, I think what stops me, I guess, from, like, hypothetically engaging more with, like, my FE is that, like, it makes me feel so fake. Because a lot of times I typically feel detached, especially being, you know, this, like, high introverted, like, thinking person. And... I don't want to speak for like all INTPs. Perhaps, you know, there's like INTPs out there that have like better emotional intelligence because apparently that's a thing too, if you will. So yeah, better emotional like intelligence. But like for me, it's like, I'm not impressed with the world due to my, I guess, detached sense. If that's because of TI, then okay, I'll own it. It's because of like TI. Cause like ultimately the way I see the world is something that, you know, it's no more than what I think I can know. And it's interesting because I was looking a little bit more into like ENTJs and I kind of realized that like, holy shit, yes, we really are each other's shadows just in like different regards because a lot of like, let's say ENTJs, they're high extroverted thinkers and kind of like what I said before, they always want to like, you know, make results, make achievements because, you know, they're out there trying to like, you know, this is what people, this is what makes people say they're like, oh, leaders or something, or like naturally assertive, or even when people are criticizing them, it's usually something like, oh, the TE doms are like always so fucking bossy and all that shit. And yeah, a lot, a lot of what I've seen is that they don't really know who they are outside of their achievements. And that, you know, goes back to them also having an inferior, like, like feeling function, which in this case would be FI introverted feeling so they don't really know who they are personally from like within emotionally I guess or you know they would they would have to like obviously like work harder at it. I felt that in the same way but a different way I guess to just like my TI system of like analysis because I don't know when I observe the world and I just um you know piece it together in terms of like what I like make sense of it, it like you know it's nothing more and nothing less if I hypothetically even do feel confident in like what I think I know. Because it's easy for me to get into like a state of like nihilism. And I'm not trying to say that like ultimately like most INTPs are even nihilist, but I mean like I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. I mean, who am I to make that assertion, right? Like other people are gonna speak with their experiences or like whatever, my type or not. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it's this whole like, okay, for me it's more like, okay, when I come up with like an analysis, from like point A all the way to like point Z. Yeah, it is nothing more and nothing less. 
when I think that I've discovered like the truth, the TI like essence or something, there's nothing I can do about it. I have to like accept it at its like logical like foundation because if not anything else that like I try to project or that like I try to like assert is just gonna get built on a house of cards, you could even say, at least I would say that. So I feel like once I make that explanation, there is nothing more. And then I naturally go back to just like being apathetic. Cause like, why would the world have to impress me if I like already found out like, you know, like it's structure and like things like that. So yeah, I don't really care. And I guess this is where the stubbornness comes from where people might say, oh, TI doms in general. So yeah, us INTPs or ISTPs are like, oh, they only see things from like their point of view because like, oh, they, they try to frame it like this or something like that. But <clears throat> I think a lot of that, and um, yes, we all have bias, even though perhaps it's harder for like us TI doms to see just because, you know, we are that like inferior FE type. So we think, oh, we're trying to detach from like other people. And we're also trying to detach like, you know, from ourselves just to see what the truth of something is and whatever we can make of it that's left almost as if like let's say you're like digging for something and what you lead up to you know it's what you lead up to you can't like choose it like it, it is what it is like you can either just accept it or you project made up bullshit to comfort yourself and i feel like that's what a lot of people are doing and maybe it just points out to like the inferior like fba against. i feel like most people need lies so i don't know i guess just like make their lives feel like it's um entertaining or amusing even though i know the logical foundation of life is essentially okay we're born and random shit in the middle and then we die like like these two things born and are you know being dead i can say for like most people and like yeah there it is again with like i guess like the nihilistic like undertones because once you figure out the system of like anything then it's just like all right the world is not really like you know out of your out of your like you know like like something that like you can control ultimately it might as well just feel like some sort of like illusion and again i'm not trying to talk for like other intps that perhaps wouldn't call themselves nihilistic but i think just like you know when a lot of people say like oh we're pretty like you know like sullen or give off this like melancholic vibe because like i don't know i guess like we have no enthusiasm for life in the same way that like most people i guess like like naturally does because it's like okay once you know it what what is there to like you know like what is there to be impressed by like okay it's like i feel like every single time i know something it just leaves me with a feeling of like okay so that's it like it is a good feeling when i think i know something but it's almost like the equivalent of like okay you play a video game you enter the cheats and it's like oh wow i'm cheating this is fun i'm like earning so many points not actually earned through like my own actual work but it's like i don't know it's funny or it's amusing it's like okay, you can like cheat the foundation, let's say, or like something like that. Like, I feel like my knowledge feels the same way as that high, but then ultimately maybe it gets boring because like, okay, yeah, like, like that's it. Like everything is just a spark that just like wears off. Because you know, like in, in the sense that like when a firework goes up in the sky, sure, yeah, you can say it's like pretty or beautiful while you like look at it, but then you know it fades away and then you move on and then you have to like i guess like do the other things because okay your life is not just those fireworks right now <clears throat> right at that moment even though i guess the brain has to trick these like trick ourselves into thinking that like these minute sort of like pleasures are just like i don't know something to go for because i guess people would go insane and then they would essentially just kill themselves. But I guess what nature wants to do is increase the chances of people fucking. So they end up having kids and just, you know, perpetuate this like ongoing repetitive cycle. So like, yeah, nothing more, nothing less, maybe something more, maybe something less, but it's like, okay, if I'm going to accept it, I'm going to have to be able to explain it. And then I can just tuck it away. Cause right after that, all right, who cares? <clears throat> I said a whole bunch of stuff, but, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, okay, where that was going back to was like, yeah, essentially, yes, the, yeah, the TI stubbornness, and I guess, like, in a way that, like, a lot of TI doms, ISTV, INTP, yeah, we don't really see our bias, because, um, what does get shown as bias in the world, you could say, I guess, are, like, people's feelings and their emotions, because, oh, if your feelings are hurt, 
I notice what a lot of people do is like they try to like, you know, project something or some sort of like made up narrative just so they can like comfort their mind, comfort their like, you know, psyche to like whatever way that's like bothering them. And I think because us, you know, you say INTPs, like ISTPs don't naturally react to something, it, yeah, it, it gives us this sense, I think, if I can speak for other TI doms, if you're with me, let me know. It's like, it gives us this sense, if I guess just thinking, okay, I know what I'm talking about, I didn't have to rely on anyone else, okay, it's the inferior FE again. I didn't have to, like, you know, assert how I feel because, oh, there's no energy to be reactive to anything emotionally if, like, okay, the foundation of this is that, and it's nothing more, nothing less, you either deal with it or you deal with something something else's foundation and you either accept that or not so yeah the way i see life and i guess like if there's other like nihilistic ti doms like out there it's like okay you can do this and then accept that for what it is and then it's gone and then it fades away even if it has like a little bit of like joy you can distract yourself with that or essentially we can stay here and just like fucking quote-unquote, waste our lives, just like rotting in our rooms or something. I guess, okay, I'm going back to INTPs more again, because like, okay, I think I am one, and like, okay, I think ISTPs are in a way more action-oriented, because like, okay, I know they get like referred to as people that can like jump and go at like any moment, because like it's that introverted thinking in a way where it's like, yes, they're very analytical people, but it's also that like high sense of presentness in their like SE that's like, okay, ready to go, and like being adaptable. And like that whole like S-E-N-I thing being so close together, yes, they're like very swift. But for us like INTPs, and I'm painting the picture of like, let's take a very stereotypical INTP that like hypothetically just like, you know, drowns out and what people think, oh my gosh, they're wasting their life, like dies out like in their room is because like, you know, yeah, I feel like kind of like all the things that like I've mentioned earlier, when you see the world for like what it is, to the best of your ability at least, what you think it is, then it's like, okay, who cares now? So I guess <clears throat> you might as well just be in your mind contemplating, I guess, like whatever random bullshit. Because like, let's be honest, real life, it's kind of boring. Well, if you were somebody else, maybe you'd disagree. But it's like, unless you have like so much fucking money or something, then it's like, okay, you're an average person, whatever, you're just like chilling out here, blah, 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 I don't know. But it's like, I guess thinking about something, contemplation, like, I can be whoever I want in my mind. If I wanted to think that I'm fucking Godzilla destroying buildings or some shit, like the closest I'm probably gonna be able to get to that is yes, just in my own imagination, in my head, fucking like destroying the buildings or some shit. So <clears throat> if I have those tendencies to hypothetically not do anything with my life, then I think it works in like a similar fashion because I'm just like, okay, who cares? Yeah, okay, you guys are all trying to suck each other's dicks and be like, oh yeah, I'm the best, I'm the best, blah, 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 this and this and that, or something like like this dumb popularity contest. Like, yeah, like, like my inferior FE just like doesn't care. And I, I don't feel like I'm losing anything because if it's such a thing where it's like so in my mind, bro, I don't know if other INTPs feel this way, but it's like, the line between how present I am in the world versus my perception of it is such a blurry freaking like line or something. And I know because I'm like an SI sort of person, I can only deal with experiences that I've known have happened to me repetitively enough where I can go with that, we'll go with that flow. But like a lot of times, you know, they say real life, real life is supposed to be some sort of like adventure and you're supposed to just like, I don't know, go with it but it's like i don't know it, it, it it's hard to get through for me personally as like an intp sometimes because like yeah life doesn't necessarily give you the accommodations to just like stop and think it can but it also in a lot of ways you know you have to be adaptable you have to be swift you have to like i guess i don't know all that like kind of stuff and i'm just here like um am i even interpreting the thing correctly and whatever course of events is like already seeping through or something. You know, like, like, like one thing, I always thought I would die maybe in an accident. Like I didn't cross the street well enough. I get hit by a car or something like that just because like I'm so lost in thought. 
because I know I have such an intimate connection to my mind and my thoughts and how I like see things compared to, let's say, different personality types. I feel like I'm hogging the essence of like what thinking is, but I mean like, I mean, I don't know, if, if you can see it from what I'm trying to tell you, then yeah, you would get it, but like if not, then okay, whatever, we chalk it back up to the inferior FE again, or, you know, whatever. But um, I'm not really sure what else to say. Um, I think, yeah, I explained more or less a little bit about it. If there are other things you would like, hypothetically like to see like typology wise, you know, do not hesitate to comment. I may or may not make a video on it. Hell, maybe I'll talk about different types. Maybe I'll, I don't know, talk about like type dynamics or yeah, just anything related to 16 personality type jargon, whatever, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna end right there. Thank you for watching.